So resolution is one of those topics or subjects that's a little bit hard to explain, just like masking. Um, so I'm going to try to explain it the best I can, and then you will probably start getting some aha moments once you start getting into Photoshop Elements. But really, the things that you need to know are when you're taking a photo, let's just say you're taking it with your Nikon or your Canon, just go into your settings and see if you can make sure that maybe super high quality is selected. You can't go wrong with selecting the highest quality when you first take the photo. That's the first thing. Now I know a lot of you take photos with your camera, uh, sorry, with your phone, and you probably don't have an option to set it to super high just yet. Maybe in the future you will. Hopefully we will on our, on our um, phones. But for now, when you have a professional camera, check to see the settings to see if you have it on super high quality. You also can take photos in camera raw, which is a whole nother Oprah, I, I should say. And if you are a professional photographer, you probably know about camera raw. We are all mainly digital scrapbookers, so we don't have to really worry about that super, super high quality because we're mainly just printing on 12 by 12s or even smaller. So don't worry about camera raw if you are not a professional photographer. The numbers that you're gonna to try to remember are 300 and 72. So 300 is for print. 72 is for screen images, as you can see right here. Okay, so we're probably not worrying about um, magazine quality, but if you were 300 PPI, points per inch, pixels per inch, you might hear as well as dots per inch. So all of those kind of are interchangeable, kind of. Um, 72 points per inch, pixels per inch, and 300. So let's look here. If you wanted to go in and read more about it, you can check out infinitymixedmedia.com and it tells you a little bit more in depth about what resolution is and why it's so important. So you might see DPI dots per inch and right here it says web images are 72 and then prints and photos are right around 300. So you can read all about that here. But let me visually kind of show you what this is all about. When you purchase DigiKits, let's say, and you have a piece of paper, you open up that piece of paper and you can find out what resolution it is. All of them are usually 300 DPI, dots per inch, 300 resolution. You can go into image, resize, image size, and that will tell you right here, it says resolution 300, 12 by 12. That will tell you the exact resolution. Now let's just talk about photos for now. Let's open up two photos. One is going to be a low resolution and one is a high resolution. So let's put the high resolution on the right hand side so we don't get mixed up here. But you can always see here it says 72 and this one here says 300. So when you zoom in, let's zoom in really tight to this cute little guy's face and shirt. Let's get a little bit of color here. On the left hand side, you start to begin to see these little squares. Those are the pixels. Let's zoom in about the same distance on the right hand side. You don't see those pixels just yet. So this can kind of tell you if you have a high resolution photo. It, yes and no. I mean, I guess I should kind of take that back. But if you start zooming in, you see those pixels right away you're probably gonna have a lower res photo. Those phone pictures take a lower res. The camera, depending on your settings, can take a high res photo. So hopefully this is sort of making sense. Now, if we were to take this 72 photo and drag it and drop it onto our 300 page, you'll see it's really small. But what if I take this 300 res and drop it in there. It's gonna be a lot better quality. Let's do it with another photo. Let's just close these two out. Now, if you were to take a photo with your camera or your phone, 
and you notice that it's always set at 72. Don't freak out because just because it says 72, it might be like, you know, 15 inches by 12 inches. And then when you convert it to this 12 by 12, it might be totally fine. So don't freak out if you open up your photos and it says that they're 72, that should be okay. So let's just open up two of these and I know I'm sounding kind of <laughs> like, what are you talking about? But once you get the hang of it, you'll kind of feel, you'll get a feel for it. So the one on the left hand side, I went ahead and set to 72. So we're gonna zoom in a little tight onto these butterflies and let's just zoom in tight in the same area. You'll notice the one on the left is starting to pixelate. The one on the right is a lot less pixelated. She's got a dirty shirt on. I never even noticed that. So again, if I were to take these, move them on in, the 72 one is gonna be a little bit more, pic well, a lot more pixelated. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. But everything you buy, like from digital designers like Karen and Linda and Jill, basically they're gonna be always doing their you know, clusters and everything's gonna be set at a high res. And that means resolution at 300 resolution. So you don't have to worry about digi kits. You do kind of have to worry a little bit about your photos. So hopefully that makes some sense. And if you wanna investigate a little bit more, just go ahead and Google search why resolution is so important or what is resolution and you can find out even more about that. Thank you so much for watching and I do have one quick question for you all. A lot of people ask me what kind of good camera I use. I use my phone a lot for all the picture taking but I do have a good camera and it is quite old though. Let's see, what the heck is it? It's, a, it's an icon for sure. Where is the numbers on this? It's a D5100. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a D5100. The cool thing about this is just a few months ago, I did get an 18 by 300 lens. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's an 18 by 300, which means that I can go really, really zoomed in at a pretty darn good quality. So I love this lens and I would love to know what kind of good camera that you use. Post it below, let us know the specifics, let us know if you like it. I know uh, Canon is another one I was looking at and a Sony, but I have stuck with this Nikon for, oh, I don't know, 10 years now. So let us know what you use and thank you so much for participating. I'm Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. Thanks for watching.